Uh, I'm Cliff Borden, and I teach robotics and math at West Ranch. So I developed a Robotics One class. Um, first year we had 13 students. Last year we had about 65. And so this class, the first year we've actually gone to this level. Um, great class. The, the Sea Perch program, which is our underwater RVs, is what we're doing today. And the kids have done a great job with that. Um, it's given them a lot of skills. They've learned how to solder, um, how to follow directions, how to, how to build something that's waterproof, um, design the control boxes, everything. They've done all of it. Um, second semesters, they'll start modifying the basic kit, adding parts to it, changing the configuration to accomplish a task. There is a competition that they'll compete in in April, which is a national competition. It's in San Jose. Um, depending on how they do, they could qualify to go to MIT for the nationals. Um, right now they're doing a, a competition that was last year's competition and their scores are pretty good. Um, so I have high hopes for this group of kids that they can you know, continue this even into college um, with the STEM programs. It's more difficult because when we were soldering our remote, we found out it's a bad idea to push the joystick when soldering it, it in. So we kind of messed up our left joystick, so that gives some problems when I'm controlling it. Especially like when trying to turn or go forward, because sometimes if we push it forward, it, the left joystick will stay forward and it will keep the left propeller uh, continuously going. So we got to recenter each time. Well, um, this is a, really a trial and error. So if you mess up, you know you're going to mess up and you have to go back and fix it. And uh, some mistakes might be costly, others not so much. That's a big difference. The air has so many currents and it's just so light and in the water, the water provides more resistance and there's nothing else disrupting it except for the other uh, submarines. This gives them the whole concept, they, you know, they learn about buoyancy, they learn about, you know, the, the thrust, all the things they learned with the drones applies in water, except you have more resistance. And you know, if you stop doing anything, your drone doesn't, you know, your robot doesn't fall out of the sky. Right. You know.